The challenges of leadership is to be strong, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be bold, but not a bully. Be humble, but not timid. Be proud, but not arrogant. Have humor, but without folly. Jim Ron, an American entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker. Welcome to Cyber Talk, where we talk about the life and how it is to be a cyber backer working from home. Cyber Talk is powered by Cyberbacker, the leading provider of world class admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website, www.cyberbacker.ph, for more details. All right. Good morning. Good evening to a few people. Again, my name is Jello. I'm the host of this podcast, Cyber Talk. Okay. Now, we are still going to be continuing on our path talking about how to become a leader. Okay. Um, for the past few weeks, we've been talking to a few members of our admin team, different heads of our different departments here in Cyberbacker. Now, um, somewhat today, we're going to be focusing on, of course, still being a leader, but more on how to successfully manage a team. Now, for some people, this is going to be quite a difficult task, of course. Now, how to successfully manage a team? There are a lot of things that you have to consider, right? You have to check on yourself first and make sure that you would be able to lead a team because if you're not going to be, let's say, 100% um, confident about yourself, then you're just going to drive that team down the drain. You're just going to pull them down, right? Now, a few things I've checked online. I also created my own list of how to successfully manage a team. And later on, we're going to be talking to our vice president just to know how they're going to be, how he does or manages the team, okay? Part of my list, number one, a clear purpose and always have goals and expectations for the team. For example, there would be new people that would be added to your team, right? Um, set proper expectations, share with them the goals of the team so that you would have one purpose, right? Now, you should have, let's say, a goal every time because it's like driving a car. Uh, when you get on that car, you should always know where you're going to go. Right. If you're not, you're not able to, let's say, establish a goal, then how would you know if the year or the month, the week, or even just the day is a successful one? Right. So that is one of the tips that I can suggest. Another thing is building trust among team members. That is very, very important. As I always say, a team is like a well-oiled machine. Now, uh, without trust between each other, then that specific machine might not work. A few parts might be excellent, but some of the parts might not work that good. Right? Instead of you having a very successful team, then yeah. And uh, one of the things that is very important is have those meetings. Let's say every day, every week, every month. Have those regular planning and review meetings just to make sure that everyone is aware of what the goals are. And one of the things that um, I have difficulty with is time management. I've, um, I'm currently learning how to manage my time better. Now, one of the things that a good leader should have is always know how to track um, team members, how they spend their time. Right, how many phone calls, how many um, text messages or emails have been sent, things like that, or those admin tasks, how many trackers have to be updated, of course, just to see and check on their productivity. Right? And lastly, always be a good coach right, to your team. Now, being a good coach means that it's going to be difficult at first. Because you're going to be handling different kinds of people with different kinds of personalities. And these are this is something that is very challenging for most of our leaders today. Because you have to, let's say, gauge how you would approach one person first before you provide coaching. And if they are willing to be coached by you, of course. right? 
Now, one of the things that is important as well as a leader is you should handle feedback very well. It's not just going to be you who's going to be providing feedback. You are also going to be receiving feedback. So it's a two-way street. Provide feedback and also accept feedback. All right. So enough about my list. <laughs> our guest today is, again, as I mentioned, is our vice president here in Cyberbacker. We're going to check on his insights, how he is as a leader, and of course, get to know him a bit better and tips on how to become an effective leader. Here he is. CJ, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, Jello. Thanks, everyone. All right, perfect, perfect. So our topic for tonight, of course, mainly this is still a part of our mini-series here about leadership. Now, what we're going to talk about this evening is about being a cyber teammate slash leader, cyber leader, okay? So um, before we go through that, TJ, can you share with us um, how long have you been with Cyberbacker and how did your Cyberbacker story start? Well, um. I've been in the company or in the Cyberbacker family for three years now. And um, before I was uh, part of the Cyberbacker family, I worked as a call center agent with different BPO companies. And I've been working for like um, in the PPO industry for, uh, I believe, around eight to nine years. Wow. And, you mm -hmm. know, I, I was uh, tired of uh, the corporate world. Um, traveling along like two to three hours of travel time just to go to work. So um, I look for a work from home. Okay. So we can both agree then, but working remotely slash at home is way better than doing the commute every day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. So my first question for you then technically about the topic is, Working remotely is not just a new normal that we have to learn to live with, right? It's an opportunity for us to work and lead that provides optimal and great productivity results for our organization. So how can you be a great team leader in this situation? Great question. So um, working remotely is definitely a great opportunity and Cyberbacker is continuously providing that to everyone. I'm one of the lucky people that was given this wonderful opportunity, and I want to thank Cyberbacker for that. To answer mm -hmm. your question, to be a great team and leader, you need to surround yourself with great people. This is a key factor working remotely. Working with great people will make you and your team better, as well as help the organization reach their goal. That's very, very important. So you talked about people surrounding yourself with, let's say, um, business-minded and very successful people, right? Can you name a few people that you, who are these people that you're currently working with who are helping you become a great leader in this kind of situation? Well, of course, um, our CEO, uh, my, my friend, um, my brother from another mother, um, Craig <laughs> Goodliff, um, our wonderful president, of course, uh, Sheila Mian Playo, um, our whole growth um, division, course uh, mm -hmm. we have gab renan paul uh Ugello, of course may raf mm -hmm. jason i can name a lot of great people there in the growth team uh, but um i i don't believe we, we do have the time but aside from that we have m from our career team and the whole career uh career backer division we have uh skia from the head back division and they're wonderful wonderful head backers as well as well as our social media team our money backers team you know what uh there's a mm. lot of great people here in cyber backers and of course i will not forget our wonderful cyber backers Yes, very, very important. As I always say here on the show, I always say that Cyberbike is like a well-oiled machine. One part doesn't work, then the whole machine doesn't work, yeah? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. All right. So in this time of uncertainty, stress, and ambiguity, so how can you encourage team members to be productive at the comfort of home? Because this is something that is new for a lot of people. Well, that's uh, another great question. But uh, first, you must know uh, what motivates them. And, and they should know what is the purpose of the team. 
by knowing what motivates them, you can use that to unleash their full potential. When I say use their motivation, it means to make them realize why they are working in the first place and when they start losing their drive. Meaning, for example, when they start losing their drive, you have to make them realize, hey, this is why you're working, correct? So something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So for a team to be successful, they should know what their purpose is. Like for the growth team, our purpose is to get more clients to help them, uh, to help them grow their business and to create job opportunities for everyone. If the growth team will not do their job, then those clients who doesn't have any cyber backers won't be able to take their business to the next level. And those people who doesn't have any work will remain jobless. There's a lot, uh, there's a lot on the line here. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot on the line. So, um, meaning, how about you, TJ? How do you personally, let's say, be more productive while you are at the comfort of your own home? Is there a secret that you have, maybe a few tips that you can provide to our listeners and cyberbackers who are listening right now? Um, it's no secret. Uh, the most important mm-hmm. thing is, of course, um, you have to utilize your calendar properly. Time management, time blocking is a skill that you have to develop. And even me, I'm developing it right now. I'm not a master of it. But if you follow your calendar, of course, you will definitely be able to be more productive uh, at times. But if it is not in, uh, like what everyone says here in the Cyberbacker family, if it, it is not in the calendar, it doesn't exist. Yeah, that's true. Time is of the essence every day, every time. All right. So... Some leaders focus more on the output, like are they getting the work done, things like that. So how are you able to validate the quality of work your people are doing, people in the growth department, let's say? Um, Great question. I'm guilty on this. Um, But there's Mm -hmm. a reason why we do this, uh, and that is to help. We validate our team's quality of work by checking their outputs or numbers on a daily basis. By Mm -hmm. checking their output, we would know if they're lacking in skills or if they are putting the right amount of actions needed to accomplish their goals. In in addition to that, this is where we will know if our current action plan or strategy is working or not. Once we know what the issue is, we help and guide them to come up with a plan or strategy Mm -hmm. to overcome their challenges. All right. Okay. So these challenges let's say um have you ever had an experience with let's say you had one person that's really um difficult to coach or to talk to or to boost their confidence there was there any time that this happened um there was uh not only uh once uh it happens uh it happened to me um a few Mm -hmm. times before oh okay that must have been very hard on your part then uh on on my end it was a challenge or an opportunity mm-hmm. to grow because um, when I was starting, I really um, I'm, I'm having a challenge whenever I do coaching, especially with mm-hmm. difficult um, uh, difficult uh, per, uh, people to deal with. But mm-hmm. you have to adjust on how you can approach those specific uh, people. You know, meaning for example, um, your strategy for or how you will approach um, this person will not work on how you will approach this person. So it's a a matter of validating how you will be able to uh, approach them. Mm -hmm. Just for everyone who's listening, just to know, um, TJ is one of the most approachable people in Cyberbacker, no matter from what division, part of the admin, or just just Cyberbacker for one of our clients. He's very, very approachable. So just one quick message. He's going to respond when he can. Always remember that. Okay, guys? Now, what challenges do you think today's leaders are facing? Um, me personally, I don't see challenges. Mm-hmm. I see an opportunity to grow. There are a lot of opportunities to grow, and we face this every day. So, mm-hmm. for example, um, what are the things that we need to innovate to get more clients? What are the things that you need to do to become a better leader? How can you get more people to join our growing family? What are the things that we need to do to train our people better? So there's a lot. Mm-hmm. And despite uh, these opportunities, it is a matter of how you take them. You must have the right mindset and heart set. You must be mentally and emotionally ready in taking these opportunities to grow. By doing so, whatever the outcome is, 
it will make you a better mm-hmm. leader. Yeah, I remember that word, heart set. I think that was a word used by Craig in one of our meetings during Friday. I think that was a few weeks ago, am I right? Yeah, quantum skills, yeah. Yes, that's right. So uh, clearly, cyber team leaders slash managers need different skills than those managers of teams who work in an office-based setting, right? So how do you plan to execute more strategically? Great question. The great uh, thing about Cyberbacker is that we mold leaders, not managers. Managers Mm -hmm. manage tasks. Leaders lead people. Our CEO, Craig Goodliff, and uh, our president, uh, Sheila Mianpleo, are molding a lot of great people to be great leaders. And those leaders are doing the same thing. And it is a continuous process. With this strategy, the team is helping everyone to be accountable, responsible, influence people, inspire them, drive people to reach their goals in mm-hmm. life, and many more. Yeah, so um, basically from what you said, morale. How about morale? Morale is, quite, uh, let's say, very, very important when it comes to this kind of setting, uh, working from home, um, not being able to talk to the person and right in front of the person when you're giving them coaching or things that they can improve on or just commend them, right? So how do you maintain the morale of the team? Of course, being that we are outside of the office. Great question. Now for this, um, by reminding them what's their biggest why, why are they working, why they wake up every night to work, meaning their motivations and reminding them our purpose. That's what what we do to keep or elevate their morale every day. So Cyberbacker is hiring staff from all over the world, country, correct? How do you deal with cultural differences? Because there might be people from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, from Manila. Some may be from Cavite, things like that. And basically for me, I'm from Baguio City. How do you deal with different kinds of cultural differences? Jello, regarding this question, Mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter. Wherever you come from, whatever your culture is, it doesn't matter. You're definitely, definitely welcome in our Cyberbacker family. All right, that's perfect. Now, Cyberbacker doesn't just cater to people who are in specific areas. So anyone and everyone who, of course, value the values that we have here in Cyberbacker, of course, can be a part, correct? Yes, absolutely. All right. So, TJ, that's going to be the last part of my, let's say, the series part, of course, of our podcast, as you all know. Now, this is the next part, which is the rapid fire round. This is where we ask you a few questions. We need you to answer as quickly as possible just for our listeners to know you a bit more. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. So first question, just let me know. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Perfect. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Pasta or pizza? Pizza. Morning person or night owl? Morning person. Dogs or cats? Cats. Podcast or book? Both. All right, that's (laughs) good. You're staying safe there. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Beach or mountains? Beach. Movie theater or Netflix? Movie theater. Big living room or big kitchen? Big living room. Read minds or see the future? See the future. Superman or Batman? Both. Okay. So that is the last question for the rapid fire round. But before we end today's episode, I just had have one more question. Um, this is usually what I ask this question to all of our guests here. So um, okay. are you familiar with the word Donald Ducking? Donald ducking. Um, Is that when you wear clothes on the upper part of your body and you're not wearing anything on the lower part of your body or you're only wearing shorts, something like that? Yeah, that's it. So my question to you is, do you do Donald ducking? (laughs) That's a funny question. But yes, I do that. But I am wearing either a boxer or a pajamas that's it <laughs> okay so um i previously asked this question with miss she before even craig miss she does it um uh, but craig unfortunately doesn't is not a big fan of donald ducking <laughs> <laughs> that's cool all right so 
TJ, um, is there anyone, any people um, that you would want to thank for your journey here in Cyberbacker Support? Um, anyone that you'd like to mention before we end our episode today? Absolutely. Uh, I would like to thank first uh, Jello for having me and of course for the Cyberbacker podcast. Uh, I would like to thank um, our awesome CEO, Craig Goodliff, for always, always believing in me and helping me be a, a better leader, a better person. And of course, uh, our wonderful president as well, Sheila Mean Player, that's helping me be a great leader too. Um, of course, the whole growth team. Uh, my, of course, my um, partner in life, Gab. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, I want to thank her to in helping me uh, every day to be a better partner, you know, a better um, leader in the growth team too, as well as the whole growth de uh, division. Uh, career division, money baggers division, social media division, web mm -hmm. team division. If I miss uh, any division, I apologize. But of course, as well as the virtual backers and mm -hmm. whole, our whole cyber backer family, our cyber backers is working with their clients. Thank you. Thank you so much for your hard work because without you guys, we will not grow as fast as we are growing right now. That is very true. Hand in hand with all of the divisions and of course, very importantly, our very own cyber backers. So yep. ladies and gentlemen, TJ, thank you very much for your time today. We really had fun. So we will be continuing on. Of course, another episode will be out for next week. Thank you guys for listening and we'll catch you again next week. Take care. Thank you to all the listeners of Cyber Talk. If you enjoyed our podcast, don't forget to watch out for our upcoming episodes. We're going to dish them out weekly. Do visit our official website, www.cyberbacker.ph. And don't forget to like Cyberbacker on Facebook and Instagram. Once again, this is your host, the one, the only. My name is Jello. Always remember, make life bigger with Cyberbacker. Till next time. <laughs>